this is Dan from O'Neill Brothers Racing. Here to demonstrate how to take a flywheel and clutch off a motor. It's a frequently asked question here at O'Neill Brothers Racing and I figure that showing you is a lot better than telling you. Today I have a stock G290 and um, you know pretty basic motor out there. First thing, first step that you'd want to do is go ahead and take the, the spark plug out using a spark plug tool or any kind of socket and installing the piston stop. I would definitely recommend buying a piston stop. If you're going to be changing clutches out frequently, it's a good tool to have. They're very cheap and you can find them just about anywhere. Go ahead and install the piston stop and make sure the piston stop stops. Okay, You don't want to thread it halfway through. If you do that, you, you run the risk of cross threading when you put pressure on the piston stop. Okay. Next is going to be, we're going to take the flywheel off, which requires taking the flywheel nut out. Either use a spark plug tool or a 12 mil socket, either one works just fine. Okay, next we'll be taking the flywheel off. Now here we use polars. Um, you can find these, uh, I want to say they're around 30 bucks, or you can, do, you can do a trick, which is if you don't have a puller, you can use a real long M6 bolt. All you would do is you would screw it down in one of these holes on each side, either one doesn't matter, until it bottoms out. Okay, once it bottoms out, once it bottoms out, you put some pressure on it twist and it pops off okay but today we're going to take it off with the puller Now you don't, when you put pressure on the piston stop, you don't want to yank this thing. You want to spin it till you feel that piston stop. Then apply pressure. You yank this thing, you can either damage in the needle bearing or you can damage the top of the piston. Give it some pressure, you hear the click. The flywheel comes off. Now inside there's, there's something called a flywheel key, timing key, there's other names for it. And usually they're stuck inside. Sometimes they'll fall out, most of the time they stay inside. You want to look out for that. It's a half moon piece, now this one's in there, so I just put a little wrench on it, give it a couple taps, and flywheel key, or the flywheel key comes out. Now you just uh, took apart your flywheel. Now next is the clutch. Now there's other clutches out there. This is a Zanoa clutch. We'll use this 14 mil socket to take off the clutch bolts. CYs use an M6 bolt, which is an Allen. But since this is a Zanoa, we're going to go ahead and take this off just like this. So you have your piston stop still in because it's still stopping the piston. Take the pressure out, and that's it. Now on the clutch, you have four washers. You have two top washers and two bottom washers. When you take this off, look out for those. Those are very important in the order that they go in and which clutch you're running. Do not mix hardware with other clutches. So if you have a Zenoa clutch, you want to use Zenoa hardware. If you have a CY clutch, you want to use CY hardware. Do not mix the two. I'll break it down for you a little bit more. You have two flimsy washers, wave washers, then you have straight two straight washers, and you have bolts. The wave washers go on top, like this. this is, the clutch has arrows on top, that is the top of the clutch. Bolts go through, 
straight washers go underneath. That's it. Now to the fun part. You have something called the clutch back plate. Okay. Now on a, on a CY, it would be a four mil bolt, a four mil head, and it's a countersunk bolt, so it would just come out. It, you would use that. But on this, this is a uh, this is a ten mil. The Zanoas and CYs do differ, but they come off just the same. You want to take off the clutch back bolt, backing plate bolt, all the way out. And the same thing applies on the flywheel than it does on the clutch. You can either put one bolt through and pop it off, or you can use a puller. Today we're going to use the puller. Real nice till till it stops. Off. And that's it. Now you have your clutch housing, which is four and five bolts. Those come off. That's how you take off the flywheel and the clutch. Very simple. Now when you get a long block from us, basically it comes like this. It does not come with this manifold. So we'll go ahead and take that off for the visual. receive a, a long block from us, it looks just like this. Cases, head, and the internals. Spark plug. That's it. So these parts that you see here are going to be required to complete a motor. Now that I showed you how to take them off, now I'm going to show you how to put them back on.